four. That's our baked Italian pinwheels. So uh, we got a head start on that uh, last night. But the first thing that you want to get going for this dish is to get your lasagna noodles cooking. So uh, you need one lasagna noodle per pinwheel. So I did two pinwheels per person. So we've got our 12 to 16 ounces of chicken here, chicken breast or whatever you find. Just uh, under a pound, you don't really need a whole pound. And I got it marinating in the olive oil with the Italian seasoning, a little bit of salt. Uh, we got our celery, mushroom, and spinach from last night. I'm just going to uh, dice up the onion and some garlic cloves here. I'm going to put a couple of garlic cloves in, um, fresh garlic cloves. Again, it's optional. You know, you can always use uh, dried garlic or just to omit it. Once all this is cooked, to complete the filling, I'm going to add in the ricotta cheese, a little more Italian seasoning, and then I'm going to stuff the pinwheels. So after I get everything cooked, I'm going to roll it up into the lasagna noodles to create the, the pinwheels. And then we're going to cover it with Alfredo sauce and some Italian cheese, and we're going to bake the whole thing. So we got our filling made and we got our lasagna noodles uh, par cooked. So we're going to start uh, filling that up. I used to just kind of spread it all along here and then just roll these bad boys up. So I've got four noodles here and then I'm going to do four more. So I'm going to try and put half the filling in these four and reserve the other half for the other. If you have extra filling, you just kind of scatter it around in the casserole dishes. Um, no big deal. But you do want to make sure that you reserve enough for the next four noodles, okay? We'll roll these very loosely so you don't push the stuff out, okay? Now I'm going to cover it with the Alfredo sauce. I just got a pre-made uh, four cheese Alfredo, a little bit of Italian cheese, some Italian seasoning. As long as your noodles are pretty much cooked, 20, 25 minutes is all you need to bake this for. While this is in the oven, I'm gonna get a salad ready if I still need to get the salad ready and some bread. There are Italian baked pinwheels. They just came out of the oven. Those look pretty darn good. Baked in the Alfredo sauce with the Italian cheese. You got chicken. Spinach, mushroom, ricotta cheese filling there. And then we got a light salad uh, to serve with that. You should have plenty of vegetables left over to mix up a salad. I had some bread left over from a previous bin. If you don't have anything left over, go ahead and use whatever bread you pick up for meal one will be your bread for this meal as well. So that's our Italian baked pinwheels. So here we have bin 22. So these are uh, four delicious meals, focusing on that one fresh pineapple that we bought. So we started off with that Scandinavian ham salad, delicious, served it in the fresh pineapple. And uh, therefore we had lots of uh, fresh pineapple from the other half of the pineapple. We served the Scandinavian ham salad with the sweet potato fries and the toasted hard rolls. Next, we moved into the tater tot casserole, a ground beef and tater tot baked, loaded up with mixed vegetables, ground beef, condensed soup, cheddar cheese, sour cream, top with that crunchy layer of tater tots. We're going to serve that with some fresh pineapple and cottage cheese. Meal three, we have the baked ham and we did that and we put some pineapple in that as well since we had it. We've got the cheesy rice and the spinach salad, fresh spinach salad there. And remember when we were prepping meal three, we got a jump start on meal four with some of the vegetable prep that we stuffed into these delicious Italian baked pinwheels. The baked pinwheels are stuffed with chicken, spinach, mushrooms, and ricotta cheese, topped with that Alfredo sauce, and Italian cheese, and baked till golden brown. So there it is, bin 22. I really hope you enjoy this bin. If you do, Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a thumbs up. Shoot me a like. Also, you can always join hotmomstinnerclub.com. It's only $14.99 for the whole year. And you get all these delicious recipes, 
grocery list downloads, and so much more. So Hot Moms Dinner Club, thanks for joining me. Ben 22.